Hey, what's up, bye guys, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today, we're going to be doing something other than the line following AI. I have been doing quite a few of those episodes, and I do want to break it up a little bit. Today, I'm going to be looking at kind of a revisit of an old concept, pretty much. Those who might have been around during the early points of the channel, I made a creation known as the Alicon Project. It was a very ambitious creation, in an attempt to make a pretty much what was a gaming console. Now, one of the big factors in it was it used external cartridges and using sensors and what was at the time makeshift pistons because the pistons weren't in the game yet. I did get it somewhat functioning in the end. I ended up having to consider it a failure. Um, I think if I revisited it now with the pistons actually in the game, I could probably get it to work better. However, baby steps. So. Today I'm going to be looking at something I built. It's still in the prototype phase, but it is functional, so I did want to show it. This is a cassette player, or a music player of sorts. This is the player itself, and this is a tape. So you can take this, plug it into the back here, and it'll play. Now this is an empty tape. I did play with it, and I did make some things just to test it, but at the moment it isn't the best so let me let me look at let me show you how to do the tape real quick it'd be the easiest um when you're finished with it you should weld these you can put this on a lift and weld these together to make it one solid piece but until then leave it like that you can open it up and here's where you program the music notes so say i want to do something like this Okay, so that, say that's what I want to do. I have all this space to do it. And say I want to just do these four notes or, or these four little groups. Come up to this, go over to this little dead cell over here and drag it down to wherever I need it. And then it lights up. And I can do that throughout the rest of these. I want to do all of these real quick. Nope, I didn't grab from the right one. I'm going to do all these real quick, and then I will be right back. All right, and I've hooked all these up. It was literally just drag from this dead line here and pull it down. Now, if you are making music and you want to change the tempo, you can do so here. Right now, the tempo is pretty slow. Um, I don't think you can go any less than two, th two, two point, or how do I say? 0.25 seconds because that's what the cassette player uses as it's um, for its yeah anyway I don't think you can go less than that you might be able to go equal to it but I would stay above it if at all possible right now this is a little long I might change it in the future anyway so now you want to test your cassette go ahead and close it up it's closed up looks nice come back here open the cassette player Grab your cassette, your tape, whatever you want to call this thing, and drop it right on in there. Close the player. And this may take a minute. If you don't get it aligned up like I haven't, it'll take longer. But if you can get it on this right edge, it will line up a lot faster, get in there properly. But it will shimmy itself into place. And let's go ahead and go to the front. Once the cassette's in place, this little green light will light up and we're ready to play it. It's going to sound like shit, by the way. And that is the end of our little cassette that we've made. But if you really want to, you can make one as well. So now if we want to go back into it, we can edit it if we want to edit it. and add more notes, remove notes. But say we are ready to call this our final masterpiece. We're ready to say we're done with it. We've made it perfect. Now you can go ahead and grab it and weld it. Now this is one big solid piece and it should help with the frames, even though frames aren't that big of an issue with this creation at the moment. Go ahead and toss it into the cassette player. 
close it on up. And it will shimmy its way into place. You can also tell it's in place. This back bar should sit flush all the way back. There we go. Now it's flush in place. And we're ready to play. Oh, that's it. And go ahead and turn it off and we can grab the cassette back out. That's all it is. It's it's really just kind of a concept idea. Um, nothing more than that at the moment. I might try and do more with it. But if you guys want to make music with it, be my guest. I'd like to see what you guys can do with it. But other than that, I think I'm just going to use this as kind of, kind of a concept to build off for some future projects I might try and do with this external storage idea. Now, at the moment, it doesn't have a top on it, and the cassette player doesn't have a top on it as well. But I do plan on adding those in the future once I consider this to be a finished build. Like I said before, this is prototype phase, so it's not done yet. I will continue working on it until I am ready to release it completely. But I am going to end this out here. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like. If you have suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe, it helps a lot. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in one more time so we can listen to the beautiful music I've made. And I hit the wrong button. Oh, don't hit that button because that button's gonna start it. There's a button that doesn't close it. There we go, we're plugged in. So so thanks for stopping by, thanks for sticking around, and until next time, peace.